Well, it's you've developed a taste for certain company. And why not? A man like you in his prime, she'd be a very fortunate young lady. Brandon Dashwood would no more think of me than she would of you, John. Brandon, my boy, do not think of yourself so meanly. All the better for her. <laughs> An excellent match. But he's rich and she's handsome. How long have you known the Colonel? Oh, Lord bless you. As long as ever I've been here and I came 15 years back. He has no wife and children. He, he had a tragic history. He loved a girl once, 20 years ago now, a ward to his family, but they were not permitted to marry. On what ground? Money. Eliza was poor. When the father discovered their amour, she was flung out of the house. He was packed up into the army. What became of the lady? Oh, she was passed from man to man. Disappeared from all good society. When Brandon came back from India, he searched heaven knows how long. The invalid. Oh, thank you so much, Colonel. Marianne, I cannot think why you should set your cap at Willoughby when you've already made such a splendid conquest. I have no intention of setting my cap at anyone, Sir John. Mr. Willoughby, Lady Allen's nephew. Ah, ah, the man himself. Come, Brandon, we know when we are not wanted. Let us leave him to the ladies. Miss Dashwood, Miss Marianne, I come to issue an invitation. A picnic on my estate at Delaford, if you would care to join us on Thursday next. I will, of course, be including Mr. Willoughby in the party. I should be delighted to join you, Colonel. I have heard reports through town. Is everything finally resolved between your sister and Mr. Willoughby? Colonel, though neither one has informed me of their understanding, I have no doubt of their mutual affection. Thank you, Miss Dashwood. To your sister, I wish all imaginable happiness. To Mr. Willoughby, that he may endeavor Deserve. Good God, Willoughby! Will you not shake hands with me? What are you doing, Miss Marianne? Willoughby, what is the matter? Why have you not come to see me? Have you not received my letters? As I had the pleasure of receiving the information you were so good as to send me. but if I have given rise to a belief of more than I felt or meant to express, I shall reproach myself for not having been more guarded. My affections have long been engaged elsewhere. I am, etc., John Willoughby. 
Thank you so much for coming. How's your sister? Marianne suffers cruelly. It pains me most is how hard she tries to justify Mr. Willoughby. Perhaps... Stash, would, would you allow me to relate some circumstances which nothing but an earnest desire of being useful? Perhaps I'll to tell me of Mr. Willoughby. No doubt. Mrs. Jennings has apprised you of certain events in my past. What is not commonly known is that... Twenty years ago, before she died, Eliza bore an illegitimate child. The father, whoever he was, abandoned them. I took the child, Beth is her name, and placed her with a family in the country where I could be sure that she would be well looked after. I saw her whenever I could. She grew up so headstrong. Almost a year ago, she disappeared. On the day of the Delaford picnic, I received the first news of her. She was with child. And the blackguard who had left her with no hint of his whereabouts. Do you mean Willoughby? I guess I'll refrain.